From bombs to bunnies, for the first time, researchers are introducing the animals to an uninhabited island off Martha's Vineyard where the Navy used to do target practice. The goal is to bring back the one rabbit species that's native to New England. Mm. It's called No Man's Land Island where scientists just relocated 13 New England cottontails. And only our cameras went along for the trip. On the first sunny day of a rainy spring, a group of scientists and journalists meet in Falmouth. They gear up with life jackets and waders and get ready to board a boat with precious cargo. We'll take the rabbits from the trunk here and we'll move them out onto the boat. The rabbits held in these boxes are New England cottontails, the only species native to our area, a species that has been in serious decline. This mission seeks to change that. It's a project headed by U.S. Fish and Wildlife with Mass Wildlife lending a hand. Everything is ready. Lines are released and we shove off. It's been a lot of years in the works and, and to have this day finally come is, is a, it's really exciting. It's about an hour's ride to No Man's Land Island. As the name says, no people here. But plenty of seals greet us as we approach. All right, land ho. Landing craft ramp drops. Yep. Rabbits, people, and gear are brought ashore. Then a brief warning. If you see something that's metal looking, don't touch it, don't kick it. That's because this 600 acre island was once used for target practice, and there are unexploded bombs here. But right. this area of the beach is clear. And so are the trails that we hike to get to the release point. So here we go. Then the moment of truth. The first rabbit is out and gone. Don't anybody step on a rabbit. <laughs> a dozen more follow. Some bolt, wow. some are hesitant, but they all make it. It was amazing to see those rabbits get released onto the island. Eileen McGordy is the lead biologist from U.S. Fish and Wildlife. She says the decline in the New England cottontail population is mostly due to lost habitat because this species needs a particular home. They like a really shrubby habitat. Which is exactly what the island offers and they have no predators here. This land is thought to be able to support approximately five to six hundred rabbits. John Garofoli from Mass Wildlife trapped the rabbits for today's release. Not every day do you get to participate in something that you're introducing a species back to an area where it hasn't been for a long time. Well, if the project is successful, there is the potential that we will be able to take rabbits from this island to augment mainland sites. All right. <laughs> All right, I can guess what you're thinking at home. We said that they have no predators there, but what about the unexploded bombs? Yes. They said the rabbits <laughs> are too light, so they won't set them off. So, so that's actually not a problem. Oh, so like the one creature that would be okay there was just reintroduced. Rabbits. And the scientists, by the way, are going to track them with GPS, and they plan to continue releasing more onto the island to create a healthy colony. Oh.